And yeah, we have like the old chateau over there where you can get like Rotom and stuff. There's an old chateau ahead. No one lives there now, they say it's haunted. Because I mean, while we have our freaking buddy that auto heals everything, this might be the opportunity to do this, you know? Like we're not going to get an opportunity like this again for a while, you know? But yeah, the power of Pokemon on a handheld Xbox 360, what? How what? What for the freaking Switch versions and such? Okay, well, we're Biden. As as we do, I guess. You know. Yeah, use that egg bomb. This much, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Welp. But do you use absorb? Ah, my soul! No! Don't absorb my credit card information. Don't you dare. Did that even restore any health there? Like, I know that it wasn't a whole lot of damage, it wouldn't restore a lot, but I didn't even see Padu's bar move at all, really. Keep losing good mods like Gyarados and Spiritomb, but the Tangled named Spaghetti that spams Sighty and Solar Beam, that mod's still alive. <laughs> that sure sounds whack, doesn't it? Well, was I dropping frames there for again for a hot second? I think we're fine. Wildcat Scoot, he was hot and... That's... Rather... Oh wait, isn't that like the only thing it can use? Oh crap. I might actually have to switch. I mean, unless we catch it. But like... I guess we can try catching it? I mean, we'll see if it survives a wing attack. We'll see if it does. Will you survive a random wing attack, Cascoon? You freaking missed! Ah! <sighs> Why you do this? Wing attack. Will you- I hit the wrong free- This is- this is the face of a man who no longer has anything to lose. Ah! Uh. Crispy Kentucky Fried? Whatever, get this Pokemon! You know, that was actually just a 3000 IQ play taking out the- Not even one shake! That was just a 3000 IQ play taking out the Chansey so that I don't have to worry about Chansey taking out the Cascoo because I totally knew that that one wing attack would put it at like the perfect amount of HP. I'm just such a god gamer, you know, clearly, or something. Cool. That looks is really good, so not a bad catch. You can consider using it. I mean, I believe the current party you have is Dr. Spooky the Gengar, Frank the Lucario, Scramble the Togus, Kamina the Rhyperior, Spaghetti the Tangrowth, and Donald 2 the Gyarados. Why is the lowercase c, like, almost the same height as the uppercase c, where it looks almost like it's uppercase, but you can just barely tell that it's not? So it looks like it says, Cocoon Pokemon! It never forgets any attack it endured while in the cocoon. After evolution, it seeks payback. Story of my life. Uh. <laughs> part of me is tempted to name it real hard. Like, is what part of me is tempted to do. <laughs> you can literally just name something smiley face? <laughs> That's a really a thing you can do. Does like makes a really good equivalent to a Yagin since it falls off real quick, but it's good for when you get it. Makes sense, I guess. What is all this crap? <laughs> what, what the hell? Well, well, this is this is life now. Badoo and Bidoof. Okay, let's, uh, we're, I don't know if we're gonna take the opportunity to level up any other mons, but we're gonna level up freaking our Malice Cricketot, at least, because it's funny. You know. <laughs> Again, I don't know what my freaking final party's gonna be, but part of me wants there to be a Cricketune in my party, because it's hilarious as heck. Especially considering that same Cricketune 
would have been the one that literally nearly gave me a game over like 10 to 20 minutes into the game, you know, and that kind of idea amuses me. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, freaking egg bomb that nerd. Oh my goodness, it's like... Why? The God of Destruction Cricketot, absolutely. Well, oh, come on, what is this crap? Oh man. Let's see here. Its name is spoken in the language of the Great Old Ones. It's impossible to pronounce in the human tongue. What that cascoon I caught just now? Okay, nice. You're actually hitting me a smidge while I'm using bide. That's A-OK -okay with me. Not doing a whole lot there. I was hoping you tackle me again, but what you gonna do? Unleash energy. Sweet. Love to see it. Welp. 99 experience points. Oh! It just straight up evolves at level- I know that was mentioned earlier, but it's still surprising and such. His power grows. Let's hear it. Mmm. Sweet music's in my ears. Whoop! Your malate evolved into cricket. Look at that moustache. Learned Fury Cutter. Learned Furry Cutter, as we can call it for the memes. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this dudo. Oh yeah, hit me with that. Whoop! Hit me with it. I need to add freaking Cricket 2 now. Hold on. Let's see here. Cricket as a thing, Bob, and then browse for image. File. Where's the thing? Gosh darn it, where's my thing? I need to find my Pokemon Platinum folder where I have all the stuff. Sprites, and then Cricketune is number 400 something. Uh, 402 looks like. Bam! Forgot Cricketune has a hella good mustache. He really does. Like, look at him. Okay, so we can just put him like here, and then we need to turn off Cricketot. Is what we gotta do. Something like that. Is what we do. Okay, cool. Welp. He's the best mustache twirling villain. But before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must let you hear something. Welp. Welp. That's a mustache of a salesman in the 30s. <laughs> oh, let's listen to it again. I'm very tempted to use this in the party, just for the memes. Really? Bug is like weird brown oranges in this? Huh. I don't know if I've ever really used bug types in these before, so like... Oh, those flashes, though. Man. Well. Ah, uh, yes, string shot. With its wackiness, huh? My goodness. I right, saw so you know, listen to that cry for 10 hours straight. Sounds like what you hear when you die. <laughs> that's what that's what it sounds like. You know? Well, oh man, chance is paralyzed. It may be unable to move. No. Thank goodness we have Fury Cutter brought to you by Mustache Twirling. Twirling freaking Malate here. So, uh. Oh, come on! You freaking piece of crap! Right as I was giving my 30 sales pitch! Unbelievable. The nerve. The nerve of some people. I personally cannot believe this. I can't believe you've done this. Wow, it sucks! <laughs> I'm very- I'm very, very tempted to abuse it, but like... Ah, it sucks right now! <laughs> you know? Like, my goodness. It's hurt by poison. My goodness. Well, Smackaroo. Like, I know that Fury Cutter does more damage. The more times you use it in succession, Fury Cutter's just a bad move. Yeah, I mean... Oh, come on! Well, I hate to see it. Okay, this'll do it, though. Smackaroo, the Wormpull. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Neat, neat. Well, yeah, we're... We're gonna grind the malice a little bit. 
before we exit the forest. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to go after that Silicoon first because it's just gonna harden stuff. Typically, love bug types, Pinsir, Scyther, Heracross, Scizor, Galvantula, Volcarona, Quirinid, a lot of them are just really good. A lot of them are definitely really good. I mean, with Krikatoon, we just have the dee lily whoop kind of thing for Bob, you know? I've never used a Krikatoon like it ever before. So, I mean, you know, certainly something. Um, though I did also mention earlier that I would also like to, you know, find this stuff out as it happens. Is also the thing. All right, you're using your heart and you're freaking nerd. You absolute nerd, let's smack a the Silamacoon. Dang it, why are you targeting the Badoo, not the Silamacoon? My goodness, if I catch a Silicoon, I should nickname it Silamacoon. I don't know if there'd be enough space for that. <laughs> I don't know whether there would be or not, but you know, one can dream. One can dream at least. My goodness, it's so much worse than I remember it being, at least from like modern games. Like it sucks in modern games as well, but like, I mean, I know it's hardening as well, but. Ah! <laughs> this is pain. This is so much pain. What the heck? Fairy Counter is actually good on Shedinja because you can just not take damage with Wonder Guard. Yeah, as long as your, as long as your opponent doesn't have a super effective move at least. So there is that. I remember, there were, I don't remember what game it was, but there was one playthrough I did of some Pokemon game way back when where I used the Shedinja because I thought that Wonder Guard was like the coolest thing ever or something like that. Something along that. Grinding a bug type in an area full of bug types because we get freaking healed up after each thing, Bob. Aw, oh, man. Had a Shedinja with sturdy ones? I assume that you get that by like some sort of cheating. I know that there's abilities like freaking skill swap, but I don't think skill swap works on Shedinja because, you know, that would be possible. Having a Shedinja with sturdy that's literally invincible. But I mean, random encounters sure happen a lot, don't they? I was really hoping that the remakes would, you know, be modern standards where it's like Pokemon actually exist in the world and walk around and stuff in the grass instead of these random encounter spawns. Like, I feel like, you know, a lot of games in general have kind of moved past the need for just, like, random encounters, you know? So obviously Hacker is very funny. Just to have a Pokemon who's immune to fainting, yeah, it's pretty wacky. <laughs> Definitely pretty wacky there. Let's go ahead and smack a -roo some nerds, I suppose. I don't know what level we'll get up to before stopping. Like, we probably won't do this super long, but that's good to hear. Kraken, that it worked out like that. Oh, man. Welp. My goodness. Welp will smack a -roo. Get pounded, I guess. Take that random egg bomb. What the heck kind of bullshittery is this? <laughs> and you just lived with Swear poison this thing always poisons. It's just seeming like it right now, isn't it? Like, my goodness. Just like the freaking Zubats in the games that use Supersonic, it always lands. Just like that whole situation. Oh, now you get a critical hit, sure. Sure, now you suddenly get a random crit. Maybe we'll just go up to level 13, I don't know. Like, this is slow and boring. <laughs> you know? I don't know how long we'll do this. Maybe 14? I don't know. Endure, you piece of crap! Man. Man. Disagree that games have moved past random encounters. Prefer the way Bravely Default does random encounters. You can just turn it off if the counters annoy you. Yeah, there's situations like that where it's at least nice in that way. So you can, like, encounter or not encounter as much as you want to. Come on! But games where you just have to deal with just random encounters at all times and there's nothing that you can do about it. It's like, well, because that sucks, you know? If you would have used Endure one more time, I would have legitimately thrown my keyboard. Well, not really. That's an exaggeration for comedic effect, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I would not have been happy. Like, my goodness. Hey, look, level 13. Look at that. If the game- Yo, if the freaking Baneer just spammed Endure and it worked constantly and it poison stalled me, my goodness, what a time that would be. Hello, hello, Luigi time. Depending on the game, even if you want to avoid encounters on the overall, they'll still chase you and are probably faster than you. I mean, at least in Bravely Default 2, there's a whole thing where it's like, if you're overleveled, they, like, stop 
running away and stuff like that. They just start running away. I can't words today. I cannot words. I need to pull my freaking chair out a little bit. It, my chair leg is going over the blanket that is over my lap right now because I'm cold. My goodness, so I had to sort that out. I gotta freaking rearrange here. I can always take my keyboard and like put it on my lap over here and I can just like lean back and just like play with my keyboard on my lap and stuff away from my desk and just have it be like chill and stuff. I like this idea. This is comfortable. This is comfortable for me. I'm just gonna lie way back, have my keyboard like here on my lap and we play with this now and stuff like that. My goodness. Oh, painless grinding Bravely Default 2 was the... It could have been much better if they actually programmed the sword well. <laughs> is the thing considering when you swing the sword you just stop moving completely so if you try to grind after enemies run from you then they'll be running for you you go up close enough that they're in sword swing rage and you swing your sword and you stand completely still while you're doing that and then they keep going and you are just stuck there freaking swinging your sword at nothing like an idiot all because the developers couldn't figure out how to but all because freaking seth doesn't know how to use both his arms and his legs at the same time my goodness and chain counters, you did the chain counter method. I just, like, freaking went after this one unique monster over and over again. Was the thing that I did well. What the heck? Not like it matters, it's knocked out now anyway. Get a keyboard and neck strap. I need to adjust my microphone now. What, just like, sling it around my neck here? But yeah, you're going to sleep there, Luna. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. I hope you have a good sleep and such. Well, maybe we'll get one more level. Oh man, we're gonna have to take out another Scylla Macoon. This is the thing. Great Level 2 is the most mixed bag of mixed bags. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's nearly midnight, so yeah, definitely get. It's nearly midnight there. In Europe, by chance? Across the ocean. My, my. Great Level 2 is a card game, so it's got that going for it. There's that at least. Because yeah, it's like just before 6 p.m. here. Is the thing. I mean, when it comes to some next drop kind of things, I do have a Guitar Hero thing over there. I have a Guitar Hero guitar in that corner, and I have a real guitar in that corner. And a freaking big piano keyboard thing. Is the thing. Kind of like a harmonica holder. Well, the little things around the neck, and then you can just blow into the harmonica while you do another instrument. Instant. I get a lot of- I talk to a lot of people, I get a lot of things mixed up. I'm confused. I get confused. I apologize. Sometimes there's a lot to freaking balance and such. My oh my. Uh, I never said I was a Guitar Hero fan, I just said I had a controller. Uh, the Shield Master boss you got is say- wait, uh, what? Oh, for freaking Bravely Default, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, was I dropping frames there for a hot second? Oh, uh, what? It's fine. My oh my. A guitar I work? I have a freaking acoustic guitar similar to the name Acoustic Harmonia right here. That's what I have. That's my guitar what that is. Well, let's put my camera back real quick and such. Yeah, before your keyboard. I don't understand what the... Because, like, a harmonica holder is just so that's, like, close to your mouth and you can blow into it. So I don't know what the point would be with, you know, a keyboard and such. That seems... Seems rather strange. Okay, well, we'll get to level 14. I get a leash life, I guess. Yeah, I can do a Guitar Hero challenge run. I've already done that. This is the thing. I already played Guitar Hero on this channel using oven mitts, is the thing. But have a good night there, Luna. Like, you can find it on my YouTube channel, <laughs> is the thing. It's It was during one of the charity streams. Well, I guess Fury Cutter would probably do more damage there anyway. Um, but yeah, I have already played Guitar Hero using oven mitts. I actually, like, conquered a few songs as well, while I couldn't even feel the buttons. It was certainly something. So, there's that. Well... And again, these are things that I might just like to find out as I level up and as it happens and such, though. I Me mean, using a guitar controller as a way to play another game? I tried. I tried to play Undertale with it, was the thing. Before I did the Undertale Other Myths Challenge, that's how I was going to play Undertale on this channel for the genocide route. But the thing is, there's a control stick on the bottom of the guitar. So even though I connected the guitar to my computer, I couldn't actually figure out like how to change the key bindings. I don't think that there is a way to like change the key bindings in Undertale, I'm not quite sure. And I couldn't figure out how to change the movement away from like the analog stick. So even if I was playing with a Guitar Hero controller, my movement would still just be an analog stick. So it'd be something that looks hard, but like isn't actually hard because it's, you know, a guitar controller, but still just using an analog stick for like 
the important thing about movement instead of because I couldn't figure out how to change the keybinds for it to like the buttons for moving around in the four different directions. That's something that I couldn't figure out. So I scrapped the idea because challenge runs that I do on the channel are meant to be genuinely challenging, not meant to look challenging while actually being easy. I don't freaking I don't that's, that ain't my game. So that's the reason why we didn't do a uh, guitar hero challenge with Undertale and did Undertale oven mitts instead is the thing. So, I guess we make it to the end of a turn of force. Let's put my keyboard back on my desk, move closer, and adjust my microphone back to where it was and such. Okay, um, oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here after grinding a freaking Malice Creek tune for however long. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Harm. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. Obtain the Soothe Bell. Is that the thing that restores a little bit of HP every turn? I don't remember. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. What is it again? I actually don't remember. So, items. Let's see here. Um, calms the holder and makes it friend- Oh, that's the thing that makes it, like, gain affection kind of stuff faster. Is what it is. So, I mean, we could always- Yeah, it increases friendship faster. <laughs> we can give it to- <laughs> The creature that nearly gave me a game over, like, really early into the game. Back to Route 205, and would there be an item over- well, there's berries and stuff. Should I switch away from... Malate? Oh, man. It's not like you can damage me, so I don't really have much to worry about here, but it's just tedious, so I'm, like, running and stuff like that. This is what I better do. There's a lot of berries here, it looks like. Um, take this bell and please don't almost wipe my party, huh, what? Can you give that to Lucius to get her to evolve faster? I guess this is true, she's in the freaking... She's in the boxes and stuff right now. It is also the thing. So I'll return to a soft and earthly state. I don't know why it's one berry, where it's clearly at least two. But I mean, you know. I assume that if you come back to the ones that you've planted, it does give multiple. I don't know what the point of putting one berry in the ground to get one berry back would be. Like, I'm not quite sure. Sure, let's plant some berries is what we'll do. And hope that it, you know, I wish there was a faster way to do this. But what you're gonna do... I assume it gives multiples later on. Don't know why it doesn't give multiples right when you pick them for the first time. Don't know why that is, but that's the way it be for whatever reason. I remember doing this all the time as a kiddo, even though it's, you know, tedious as heck. Yeah, let's sprinkle some water. Wait, do I actually have to wait there for a second for it to become darker? I don't see any visual difference. I literally don't see any visual difference at all in the soil. My goodness. Well? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. This is the pier that's lined up with like a bazillion fishermen. I mean... When a seed is planted, it's already... What? Oh, that's why? That's so weird though. Um... My oh my, just stay back fishing casually it's a grow ups hobby. Well, I'm glad that you still enjoy the stream there, Luigi time. I mean, how about that? I'm dead and be a feisty trainer. I mean, classic Pokemon games are hella fun and such. Fisherman Joseph. Unwatered soil in this game it looks like sand, kinda? Hmm. Weird. That's strange that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the whole situation. It's just. Weird. We'll see what happens in the. in the remakes. I mean, they're not remakes, they're remasters, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, let's just burn through these fish and get some experience points and stuff, I guess. Vita Fisherman Joseph. A uh, big wind slip away. Yeah, remaster in quotes and such. Well, it could also just be defined as like a scale up. Um, this location has the six Magikarps guy. Oh, I think it's biting. I could use a break, I suppose. Uh. Um. I know somebody named Andrew, as a matter of fact. Who I haven't talked to in a long time, but is apparently engaged now. Which is crazy that, like, people that I knew from grade school are now 
you know, already doing stuff like that. This is him, Fisherman Andrew. Well, if I get into freaking contact with the Andrew that I know, I'm gonna tell him, screw you and your six Magikarps. I mean, its power increases if it hits in succession. So in theory, if we keep on doing this with a bunch of Magikarps, you know an Andrew that you haven't talked to in a long time too? Yeah, I think I, I think we went into like a Google thing once, like a Google meet thing once, a whole bunch of people that I haven't talked to in forever. And that's where I've learned that, oh my goodness. This is fear, further proof that you're just me from another timeline, imagine. Well, uh. Whoa, Fury Cutter's actually doing more damage with each next hit now. Like, maybe it was before, but we didn't notice because we were always attacking freaking bugs that were just hardening and stuff. Maybe, maybe. Welp. It barely even gives any freaking experience points. Ah! Well, this is the six Magikarps guy. Does he have a Gyarados at the end, or am I losing my mind? I guess we'll find out shortly here. Yeah, so now we're actually seeing this do more damage, hitting with succession and such. Um, well. So, I mean, Fury Cutter's doing more and more damage. So, he's still a whole lot of experience points. Magikarp. That's my freaking dream team right there, just six Magikarps. This Magikarp's guy in black and white too has six level 58 Magikarps? <laughs> Is that like after you do like the main story stuff and then you start facing off against more trainers who have like Pokemon from previous regions? For it to be like that, if I had to guess. Because that's absolutely ridiculous in that case. Look at all these Magikarps he has. Like my goodness. Yeah, Fury Cutter's just one-shotting now that we've used it enough times over and over and over again. Will we get a level up off of this? <laughs> we're gonna keep battling. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so that level 18 or 16 or whatever the heck it was was like his highest level Magikarp. I guess. Well, there's... there's that. Uh, but I don't know why my nose is bothering me so much right now. My goodness, probably because we have the little -di 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 whoop out battling fish right now. Or something. Don't even get a level up off of that. Well, that didn't do anything for me. <laughs> Gee, what a what a surprise there, huh? I fished up some tough Pokemon. Let's have ourselves a battle. What do you bet? At least one of them's gonna be a freaking Magikarp. What do you bet, Fisherman Zachary? My oh my. Well, and of course one is a Magikarp. I don't know how many other Pokemon you have. Man, you are so fast, man. Grottle Malus is so slow. So slow, though. Well, take that, a random Magikarp. I'm getting messages that I'll quickly check and such. I just got a text message saying, and I quote, Detective Pikachu is on Netflix. <laughs> this is something that I actually heard about uh, a little while back when I was checking the upcoming stuff on Netflix. But, but still neat all the same. So anybody who freaking hasn't seen Detective Pikachu freaking who has a Netflix subscription, I would say check out Detective Pikachu is actually a pretty enjoyable movie. And Ryan Reynolds is freaking great in it. Yeah, it was pretty good and it really you know, it's a great example of showing, hey, just because it's a video game movie doesn't mean it has to be bad, you know? And I think that it is the only movie that I've ever seen based on a video game where I actually liked the movie better than the video game. Like, I haven't actually played Detective Pikachu myself. I plan on playing it on the channel one of these days, but I have, like, watched all the cutscenes of it, seen, like, a full playthrough of it so that I see the whole story. And the thing about the game is it ended with a cliffhanger. Like, it wasn't actually resolved. 
in the game. And the villain is, like, completely different and such. Um, losing to a kid has me gasping like a magic carp. Um, so the plot takes a bit of a different direction. Like, Detective Pikachu on the 3DS very much leads up to, you know, this freaking cliffhanger, potentially for, like, a future title. And they have said that a Detective Pikachu game is being developed for the Switch. So, like, it could be a port, but more likely it's a sequel, especially if it's taken so long. It's probably going to be a Detective Pikachu 2. Is this just the shortcut over here, past the turn of forest? Yeah, it looks like it is. Um... So I want to cover Detective Pikachu on the 3DS before what is probably the sequel to it comes out. But I was worried when I went to watch the movie that it was going to end with a cliffhanger and that they would bank on there being like a sequel of some sort. But no, they actually like fully resolved it. They had a completely different villain. They actually resolved the story instead of just leaving it with like a cliffhanger that left like more questions and answers. And... It was great, so I genuinely enjoyed the movie of Detective Pikachu more than the game. And I think that that is, like, the only case of that I can say for any, like, video game movie I've ever seen. Where I genuinely thought the movie was better than the game. Um, but yeah, you were expecting a cash-in with the Sonic film, and it was still pretty good, so those two films are proof that not all video game films are bad. Yeah, I only actually saw the Sonic movie for the first time, like one month ago something like that and i am not like a fan of sonic myself like when i was when i was a kid playing smash bros brawl and i saw sonic i was like whoa this character's so cool i should like try some of his games or something and i picked up sonic unleashed on the wii and i was like okay i don't i don't know what the heck i'm doing um and then from there i never really looked into sonic stuff much ever anymore and haven't exactly considered myself a sonic fan much at all but I was so curious about the movie to see how it turned out, and I checked it out, and I was like, okay, that was actually, that was actually pretty decently solid. It's not like a masterpiece of a movie or anything like that. Not anything that's like breathtakingly good, but like, it was still a solid movie, you know? Like, it was still like quite enjoyable and solid, and I was really surprised, honestly. Um, Pixel's Bad Super Mario's Brown the movie wasn't even a film. I haven't even seen that one. If we ever do a freaking movie night on the channel, like freaking Bravery Arcade does on his channel, then that would be one to consider. Um, also saw the Sonic movie you're about, and aside from Sonic flossing, good. Oh, I. Why do you have to remind me that was a thing that happened? Oh, no. Gosh darn it. I actually forgot that he did that until you mentioned it. Now I won't be able to unremember it again. I hate it here. 